Hello dear students, welcome once again in our video lecture of structure of atom. In our previous video, we have discussed about the quantum numbers as well as how to fill the electrons in any orbital. Of Bau, Pauli and Hund's rule we have already discussed. Now in today's video, we are going to solve some MCQs regarding those topics. So take your pen and paper with you and let us start. This is our first question. The question is, which of the following configuration is incorrect? So here electronic configurations are given and we are asked to find the incorrect one. Okay, so as I told you that in our uh, previous lecture, when you have question paper booklet for NEET and G, the first thing you have to do is to write the outbound chart. 1s, 2s, 2p. 3s, 3p, 3d, 4s, 4p, 4d, 4f, 5s, 5p, 5d, 6s, 6p, and 7s. And the filling of electron will follow this order. Okay. Now if we want to find the correct and incorrect one, we can use this chart for the correct electronic configuration. Okay, so here it says 1s2, 2s2, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Here 2p4, 2px2, 2py2 are given and 2pz has 0. So in that case here the three compartments of p orbitals are given. So we have to write the box electronic configuration suggested by Hund. So if I write this configuration, so it will be like this. 1s, 2s, 2px, 2py, 2pz. Now we know very well how to uh, fill the electrons in these orbitals. 1s2, 2s2, so that is okay. 2px, now here we have total 4 electrons. So according to Hund's rule of multiplicity, that means many of same kind. So in that case, we want to fill 4 electrons, then first we have to write 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. So this would be the electronic configuration if p orbital contains 4 electrons. But here it is written like this. And one orbital is empty, so that is not correct. So ultimately, this portion is incorrect, therefore this option is incorrect electronic configuration, therefore it is our correct answer. Remaining all configurations are already true. Now let us check 1s2, 2s2, 2px1, 2py1, 2pz0. It can be possible. If we have only two electrons in p orbital, then one electron will be in 2px, one electron in 2py and one will be empty. This is the electronic configuration of carbon. Okay, now 1s2, 2s2, 2px1, 2py1, 2pz1. That can also be possible. It is also true. It is the electronic configuration of nitrogen. And the last one is 1s2, then 2s2, 2p6, then 3s2, then 3p6, then 4s2, yes it is, though 4s are written after 3d, but there are two electrons, that means it is completely filled, so it is correct. And then after completion of the filling of s orbital, electron will go to the 3d orbital, the capacity of d is to accommodate five, uh, 10 electrons, but here we have only 5, so they can be easily filled in it. So this is also correct electronic configuration. Here fourth orbit is the outermost orbit that's why it is written at the end. It is not necessary that all time this sequence should be written but the filling of electrons should follow this sequence. Dar vakta yu jaruri na thi ke a sequence pramane nahi lakhelu hoi. Lakhwa matwa quantum number no क्रम उजाड़ी रखता है पहले बीजी त्रिजी पची चौथी हम पर इलेक्ट्रॉन नहीं गोठाव नहीं करवानी बात आवे त्यारे इलेक्ट्रॉन आज ऑर्डर ने फॉलो करता हसे एक हस्तियां मालूम 
So this is the question. Pause the video, write the question, then we will move forward. Okay. Now let us see the next question. The next question is when 3p orbitals are completely filled when 3p orbitals are completely filled I have the book which is Dines MCQ uh, then the newly entering electron goes into Kotukairo IT may check in a qui ama any passi the root per se for P for S then 3d and 4d so the question is jare 3p orbital pure puri bharai jai tyare electron se ma enter kare to so, jo ne 1s 2s 2p 3s 3p 3d 4s 4p 4d pehla 1s bharai pachi 2s bharai pachi 2p pachi 3s bharai pachi 3p bharai 3p puri bharai jaye pachi electron kema aave chhe 4s ma so 4s is the correct answer for this question okay now let us see the next question it says how many electrons in भाई क्रोमियम ने कॉपर ने इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगरेशन बिजा करता अलग से ये तो हमने समझावानु पाकी से थोड़ा एमसीक्यू जो ही लिए पर ये आपने टॉपिक पर समझ सो हाउ मेनी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन पोटेशियम हैव एन इज इक्वल टू थ्री एल इज इक्वल टू जीरो एन इज इक्वल टू थ्री एल इज इक्वल टू जीरो � 1, 2, 4, 3. Okay. Now let us solve this question. Here, how many electrons in K potassium have N is equal to 3? That means third orbit. And L is equal to 0. L is equal to 0 represent S orbital. So let us consider first this orbital n is equal to 3, l is equal to 0, that means s. So, how many electrons are there in s orbital in the electronic configuration of potassium? So, obviously, if it is s orbital, it can have maximum of 2 electrons. For kadaj, ema ek electron hoi joi chali hoi to, badai be be no hai 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 hai. To apna configuration lakhi lai, 19 karo hai se. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, these are 18 electrons and 19th electron is in 4s1. But here n is equal to 3, l is equal to 0, that means it indicates the s orbital 3s and 3s orbital is having 2 electrons, so b is the correct answer in this case. Suppose if the question is altered and instead of n is equal to 3, if we are asked n is equal to 4 and l is equal to 0, then our answer will be 1 because n is equal to 4 that is 4th orbit, l is equal to 0 that is s orbital. So 4s contains only one electron in case of potassium. So then our answer will be 1. But here, as n is 3, answer is 2. Okay, now let us modify the same question. If somebody says, how many electrons are there in potassium which have n is equal to 3? 
and L is equal to 1, then how many electrons are there? So, N is equal to 3 and L is equal to 1 means P orbital. So, we are talking about 3P orbital now. So, just see the 3P orbital, it contains 6 electrons. So, I read the questions, but I don't know what I'm talking about. So, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't L mate value do any in another orbital lap one, but if configuration those or letter of the thumb that they can just say it came up get like electrons here. Okay, so screenshot lay you on a pussy up rather with you. Okay. In an atom, which has 2k eight L eight M and two N electrons. In the ground state, the total number of electrons having L is equal to 1 R. And the options are 20, 8, 12 and 10. Now this is the question. Okay. So, first of all, here the data is given in this format. 2K. K means first orbit. So, here the first orbit contains 2 electrons. L means second orbit. N is equal to 2 which indicates L. So, second orbit is having 8 electrons. Third orbit is also having 8 electron and fourth orbit is having 2 electron. How configuration happens? And I have to ask in ground state, that means in normal condition, there is no excited electron in it. Now, what is ground state and what is excited state? So, ground state ma electronic configuration jo ye, to total number of electron having L is equal to 1 R. So, L is equal to 1, that means P orbital. Jetly P hoi, e badhaina total electron ketla, ama air prekeva. So, pela joso, what is the total electrons in this element? Be, vata atle thus, vata atle adha, and be atle vis. So, total 20 electrons are to be filled. Tava, go to the apripasa chedge. Anything go to one sabukur, lucky the vuna. It is calcium. I know that 20 is the atomic number of calcium. So, electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6 and 4s2. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6 and 4s2. 20 electron thai gya gani yu. Pelli ma be, bg ma 6 plus 2 at le 8. 3G ma pan 6 plus 2 at le 8, so thi ma b. Now, how happen na ki tu se? L is equal to, L is equal to 1 hoi, AV orbital, at le kai P orbital. P ma te L is equal to 1 hoi. Thama jetla P dekha in ena upar dhyan diyo. Now, here it is 2P. And there is 3P also. Bij e kye P na thi. To gano to bai na total electron ke la thi, a P ma ke la se. So, how much it lies? So, 6 plus 6 is 12. Yes, 12 is the answer. That's all. Let you have no question screenshot, but you have no question. Do you? Okay, I'm going to do it here.
Now our next question is Electronic configuration of MN Manganese can be written as Here are the options A is A R 4 S 2 B is A R 3 D 6 4 S 2 C is A R 3 D 5 4 S 1 And D option is AR three D five four S two. Okay, now let us write another question also. So for time bache. The penultimate cell. This is very good question. The penultimate. cell of francium and the atomic number is also given which is 87 आप पहलु जासे नो आप पहलु है तो ही तमने तो सिखी जासो कान के थर्ड चेप्टर आपड़ हमना स्टार्ट कर सुवर ले तमने दरे के दरे के एलिमेंट ना एटोमिक नंबर ख्याला भी जासे एनी पेरियोडिक टेबल मा पोजिशन पन खबर पड़ी जासे ओके सो फ्रांसियम हैस कॉन A, 2s2, 2p6 B, 6s2, 6p6 C, 4s2, 4p6 4d10 4f14 and option D is 5s2 5p6 and 5d10 okay so these are the questions so let us solve the first question electronic configuration of manganese can be written as so for that we know the atomic number of manganese the atomic number of manganese is 25 i know that 25 is the atomic number of manganese so if i write the electronic configuration of manganese so i have to accommodate 25 electrons so it can be like this 2 plus 2 4 plus 6 10 plus 2 12 plus 6 18 plus 2 20 plus 5 that is 25 so it will go like this 1 is 2 First of all, argon lakhid na kiya kla, adhar to thai kiya, bain be chaar ne chho, dus ne be baar ne chho, adhar le, 3p so di thai is given. Pachi, 4s2 and 3d5, here there are 18 electrons, up to 3p6, 18 thai kiya. Aapre 25 so di pohon chho se, to 18 plus 2, 20 and plus 5, so d, 3d will have, 5 electrons in it. So, electronic configuration is argon, 4s2, 3d5. Now, just find out here not d, so it is not our answer. 3d6 che, pona pona answer nahi bane. Yaha, 3d5 hai. Lake in 4s is having only one electron, so this cannot be our answer. This is the correct answer. AR, 4s2, 3d5. So, this is the answer of Electronic configuration of element manganese. Okay, again, the question in which there is a word penalty mate. And if you have a video, you can see that 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 you can see
तो ये वीडियो ने पूरे पूरो जो जो बाढ़ को तमारा बद्धक सॉल्यूशन इन्हीं अंदर आ दीजिए इसे। What is the ultimate cell? अटले कैसा होती बार नहीं के valence cell है ना ultimate के भाई। इन्हीं तरत अंदर नहीं होए ना it is known as penultimate। इन्हीं ये अंदर नहीं ने pre penultimate के भाई आपने त्यां सुधीन जरूर नहीं पढ़े but penultimate word should be there in your examination। ये हसे करना ह� the penultimate cell अटले के छेले थी बीजी कक्षा of francium francium element नी छेले थी बीजी orbit not orbital orbit cell आखे आखु अटले second third fourth जे थाती हुई के जेन atomic number 87 से हमा केटला electron हसे एनी configuration सु तो वड़ी पासो तो मार आउप बाउ जाट ना उप्योग करवज पड़े ना मा तो 87 सु दी पोंच हुसे अटले मार F नी ये जरूर पड� तो वहाँ ने पासों थोड़ों व्यवस्थित लकी लो। तो वहाँ ने आम लकी लो उस वावे। One s, two s, two p, three s, three p, three d, four s, four p, four d, four f, five s, five p, five d, six s, six p, seven s, and this is the way in which electrons are filled. Okay. तो 87 સુધી પહોંચવાનું છે તો આમ જ પહેલા પહોંચી જઈએ અને પછી એના આધારે આપણે જોશું તો 2 plus 2 4 plus 6 10 plus 2 12 plus 6 18 plus 2 20 plus 10 the capacity of d is 10 so it is 30 now plus 6 36 plus 2 38 38 plus 10 38 plus 10 that is 48 48 plus 6 that is 54 54 plus 6 that is 50 54 plus 2 that is 56 56 plus 14 the capacity of F is of 14 electron. So 56 plus 14 will give us 70. Sitter sudhi poincha. Apre kya sudhi poincha varu? 87 sudhi. Aji to sitter hai va. Now 70 plus 10 that is 80. And still we have 7 electrons to be filled. So 80 plus 6 that is 86. And 7s will have only one electron in it. So, Leo, ah, configuration the bada hi upyog thay kyu jo? No khabar padi hoye to video na rewind kari ana pasu jo jo hu kai dite lag to thay. Main 87 electron ne ama feel kar dita chhe. Screenshot le liyo atle wah jagya clear karu, pachi ani configuration lakhi do. Okay. To ahi hum ye lakhu swar. Eighty seven francium one S two two S two two P six three S two three P six what's he? I'll say four S two one S two two S two two P six three S two three P six but see I'll say four S two but my three D orbit next at it luck with it lying at three D now lucky low three D ten this is third orbit okay four S two three D ten but see four P six 4p6 પછી આવે 5s2 5s2 થોડી કાગી લખું અથવા આલો આય બાજુમાં જ લખીએ 5s2 સિક્વન્સ માં જ લખીએ પછી 4d10 પછી 5p6 પછી 6s2 એના પછી 4f14 પછી 5d10 પછી 6p6 અને પછી 7s1 now what is the valence cell that means the outermost cell that means the ultimate cell to maximum quantum number varu hoy sauthi bar nu kevai 7 so seventh cell is the ultimate then any under ni 7 minus 1 that means sixth orbit is said to be the penultimate in this case 
तो छठी जे और बीच से एने ध्यान में लेवानी हेलो छ आउ तो वही बदन ध्यान में लियो एक आ एक आ छे बीजे के छ नथी जो बस तो कॉन्फिगरेशन केवी था से 6x2 6p6 बात पूरी बीजे के 6 नथी जो 6b नो में के उपयोग थियो जी नथी तो पेनल्टी मेट इज द n minus 1 orbit so 6s2 6p6 b is the correct answer आ तमने पहली बार समझा हुँ तु बार को एकले में आ रिते लखी ने बताई हुँ अटलो बदो टाइम नथी लेवान मा question सोल करवान मा अनथी वोसा टाइम मा थी जाई केम तमारे पास है चार्ट से हसेज तमें दोर्वानाच सो तमारी परिक्षा मा एमा आम इलेक्ट्रोन गो लास्ट ओर्बिट कई से मैक्सिमम क्वांटम नंबर है वो ये भी ओर्बिट कई तो कैसे सेवन बस तो सेवन नी पहला नी अगले सिक्स बस या सिक्स वाली जो वाली ये मजेद लाइ इलेक्ट्रॉन देखा था वही ते तमारी पेनल्टी मेट सेल ना इलेक्ट्रॉन किया सिक्स प्लस टू दैट इज एट बात पूरी कदाच एम ही पूछा तो वही कि तो आई आठ की गयू, that means the last orbit ultimate is six, so in that case penultimate will be fifth. क्या लगा वैसे? आने जो ही ना जान सर आ गए, तो आई आंसर बन से B. वीडियो पोस्ट करी, आप अपन लकी लियो, तेरे को टाइम जो ही लो, हजी आपने बोला, होगा तीस मिनट जब वो टाइम थियो सर, अन्य हजी आपने तीन चार क्वेश्चन तो जो ये दिए, सर तो वहाँ ने जवाब दो उसको, � जी आपने एक लेक्चर बनाओ सु के जेनी अंदर बीजा थोड़ा क्वेश्चंस अने एक बे नाना टॉपिक पर आपने सिखवाना चाहिए पच्ची आपने आज चैप्टर में पूरी कर सु साउ तो अवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगरेशन ऑफ डाई पॉजिटिव आयन M प्लस टू इस टू एट फोर्टीन इस टू एट फोर्टीन एंड इट्स मास नंबर इस फिफ्टी सिक्स इट्स एटॉमिक मास इस फिफ्टी सिक्स डी नंबर ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स प्रेजेंट इन इट इस The options are thirty two B, forty two C, thirty and D thirty. Now this is the question. It is also very interesting question. The electronic configuration of an ion, di-positive ion is given. This is not the configuration of an element. This is the configuration of ion. Now, if it is di-positive, that means it has already donated two electrons to some other atoms. So, in an atom, the electron ideally hovered in the atom, it would be the same as the atom. So, in this case, the atom of electrons is the atomic number of the atom. अब आपने बराबर समझ जो। Suppose if I am talking about sodium, electronic configuration, if I write sodium 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1, so it has 2, 8, 1. This type of configuration sodium can have. It is neutral atom. But if I say Na plus, unipositive sodium, so one electron is gone. So, electronic configuration will be 2, 8. So, in normal sodium, there are 11 electrons, but in unipositive sodium, there is only 10 electrons. So, one electron is less than the neutral atom, because it is unipositive. 
but here our species is dipositive that means it is having two electron less than the neutral atom so if we want to find the total number of neutral atom then we have to add two in this electrons so ama bija be add kari daiye atle apna element ni electron ni total sankhya mare so m plus 2 has Eight plus two, that is ten. Ten plus fourteen, that is twenty-four electron. Therefore, in neutral M, will have twenty-four plus two, that is twenty-six electrons. The pelajo. And how we happen? I will ask you that its mass number is fifty-six. Atomic mass fifty-six. So M a neutron get la. A find karo. Now, if we know the total number of electrons in neutral metal, that means here total proton are also twenty six because the atom is neutral when it is having twenty six electrons. That means it must have twenty six proton also. Then only it can be neutral. Now we have the total number of proton. We have the atomic mass also. So by using this data, we will find the total number of neutron. So mass number is equal to number of proton plus number of neutron. So if we want number of neutron, that means mass number minus number of proton. Mass number is fifty six, and the total number of proton is twenty six zero. Three, so thirty neutrons will be there in the nucleus of this species. So answer is C thirty. So both such questions are there. But now we get a little bit variety. Who maximum? Then we have to tell you try to do some bad things. Man, they include carry some. No, then that is all. But how do you have better time? See, you can do it. Like video pause, carry. I like it. उटर मोस्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन of rubidium 37 is yes, this is the atomic number of rubidium the set are given as 5 0 0 plus half b is 4 3 2 minus half c is 5 1 0 and minus half And D is five one one and plus half. Okay, now let us try to understand the question first. We have rubidium having atomic number thirty seven, and the question is the correct set of quantum number for outermost electron. That means the last electron present in last orbital will have which set of quantum number? so first of all we have to find which is the outermost electron and for that we must have to write the electronic configuration for rubidium so let us start writing the configuration of rubidium rb which is 37 so 2 plus 2 4 plus 6 10 plus 2 12 plus 6 Eighteen plus two, twenty plus three, plus ten, thirty plus six, thirty-six plus one. That means thirty-seven. So it will end up at five s two. So let me write it: one s two, two s two, two p six, 
3s2 3p6 4s2 3d10 5s1 now the outermost electron is this this is the outermost electron which is situated in 5s orbital so here principal quantum number is 5 as the orbital is s therefore the azimuthal quantum number for s orbital is 0 and if the value of l is 0 then obviously the value of m can be 0 there is no other possibility and as far as spin quantum number is concerned you can take either plus half or minus half any value can be there any other kind of level so 500 plus half a is the correct answer that's all here there is one more answer 500 minus half this can also be the answer of this question 500 plus half and 500 minus half mostly because it is fifth orbital so this is the set of quantum number for the outermost electron for rubidium pause the video and just write down this question okay now let us move to the next question An atom has two electrons in K cell, eight electrons in N L cell, eight electrons in M cell. The number of P electrons present in the element is P electrons that means electron present in P orbitals P electrons in the element is the options are 10, 7, 12 and 4 10, 7, 12 and 4. Okay, so here the electronic configuration is like this 2, 8, 8. In first orbit, there are 2 electrons. In second, there are 8. And third also contains 8 electrons. So that means total number of electrons are 18. And 18, then it is argon. Now let us write the configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. That means this is 2. Here we have 8 electron, 3s2 and 3p6, again 8. Now the question is, number of p electrons. So first of all, find the total p orbitals 6 and 6. 6 plus 6, that is 12. So c is the correct answer. That's all. A type of question, if you have a question, you can see Video post, you can see it. Okay. Now let us move the potassium in potassium. The probable order of energy level for 19th electron is three D three S greater than three D option B is four S less than three D. C, 4s less than or greater than 4p and option D is 4s is equal to 3p.
again you can use the outbound chart in k the probable order of energy level for 19th electron so let us count where the 19th electron is 2 plus 2 4 plus 6 10 plus 2 12 plus 6 18 plus 1 19 so 19th electron is in 4s orbital 4s1 that means the last electron of potassium is in 4s orbital and the question is the energy level for 19th electron is here 3s greater than 3d ab ana mate to apne kai khas vicharvano j nahi bhai aa be nu addition ne aa be nu addition karo 3 plus 0 that is 3 and 3 plus 2 that is 5 to 5 n plus l value 5 is greater than n plus l value 3 so this option is incorrect and फोर्थ सेल आने तो जो लास्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन इज इन फोर्थ ऑर्बिट तो आ चेक करने फोर एस एन थ्री डी फोर प्लस जीरो देट इज फोर एंड थ्री प्लस टू देट इज फाइव सो फोर एन प्लस एल वेल्यू करता आल्यू वू से सो दीस वील बी दी करेक्ट आंसर ओके फोर एस प्लस फोर एस इज ग्रेटर देन फोर पी एव कीधु तो फोर प्लस जीरो एंड फोर प्लस वन देट इज फाइव तो आ तो खोटू एंड फोर प्लस जीरो प्लस थ्री प्लस टू तो आ पांच थे आ चार थे खोटू तो आ रीतना लास्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन इट इज इन फोर एस ओर्बिटल पी एनर्जी कम्पेरिजन करेली है तो एना तो कदाच आ क्वेश्चन न जुव खाली आ ऑप्शन जुओ तो खबर पड़े कि जेनी एन प्लस एल वेल्यू वू एनी एनर्जी वू हो तो एन प्लस एल वेल्यू आधु पांच थे चार थे तो आ ऑप्शन साचो है बाकी बदा खोटा है तो आ रीतना घना बदा क्वेश्चन बनी सके बाढ़ मैं अमुक तमने सोल्व करेला है धारी तो आ घु बधु चा खूटे ज नहीं तारी पास बुक हो तब सोल्व करजो नेक्स्ट विडियो वुड बी अवर लास्ट विडियो फॉर दीस चेप्टर ए विडियो अंदर आप त्रन नवा वर्ड शीखू और थोड़ा क्वेश्चन जोशू पी विडियो क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट ए चेप्टर शुरू कर सू। तो नवा विडियो मिली त्या सुधी क्वेश्चन ने बराबर प्रिपेर करजो थीअरी खास इलेक्ट्रॉन एरेन्जमेंट मे त्रन रूल्स हाउफ भाव पौली हूंड एने लगते विडियो ए खास जो जो छप्पन मिनिट नो विडियो ए वीडियो तटे बहुज इटंट है जो ए वीडियो ने जो वगर आप आगे बधसू तो आपने कहीं नहीं खबर पड़े इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन कोईपण एलिमेंट शीखवा पीछे नु चेप्टर शीखा हाउफ बाउ पौली हूंड रूल वालों विडियो बहुज इटंट है हूँ डिस्क्रिप्शन में लिंक मूकी दईश के जी ते त्या सीधू जी सको सारू नेक्स्ट विडियो में पाचा मलसू त्या सुधी नाइस डे